At a meeting of the small council, Corleys urges action against the Triarchy, an alliance formed by the Free Cities, which, according to his assessment, would gravely affect Westerosi ports, but his concerns are dismissed by Viserys Targaryen, and his hand, Sir Otto Hightower. Corleys is present at the Heirs Tournament with his wife Rhinus, and their two children Lena and Lenor. Corleys attends the funeral of Queen Emma and Prince Balon. The day after the funeral, in the small council chamber, the matter of the succession to the Iron Throne is brought up by Otto Hightower, where Corleys supports Demon Targaryen's claim to the Iron Throne, due to male preference primogeniture. When Otto suggests Rhaenyra instead, Corleys offers an alternative, his wife, Rhinus, stating that she has a valid claim to the throne, and a male heir. Before the matter can be discussed further, Viserys furiously berates the small council for their squabbling while he is still in mourning, and abruptly ends the meeting. Corleys is amongst several lords of Westeros who were summoned to King's Landing to swear fealty to both Viserys, and his named heir, Rhaenyra Targaryen, who is named the Princess of Dragonstone. Roughly six months after Emma Arryn's funeral, Corleys reiterates the problems with the Triarchy, who have now sunk four Westerosi ships including one from the Velaryon fleet, gaining more power in the Stepstones, and demands to take action against the Triarchy to clear out the Stepstones. Viserys explains that, as an alternative, he has sent envoys to Pentos and Volantis, with the prospect of an alliance against the Triarchy, but Corleys warns that further inaction will only strengthen the belief that Viserys, and by extension, Westeros, is weak which began with Demon's illegal occupation of Dragonstone not being answered. Corleys and Rhinus later try to forge a marriage alliance between House Targaryen and House Velaryon, by suggesting Viserys should marry the daughter, Lena Velaryon, uniting the Targaryen dragons and the Velaryon fleet, to prove the strength of his reign. Though several members of the small council support the idea of Viserys and Lena's union, due to its several political advantages, Viserys opts to marry Lady Alicent Hightower. Corleys, infuriated by yet another slight to his family by the Targaryens, leaves King's Landing and resigns from his position as master of ships. He returns to Driftmark, and propositions Demon Targaryen to join him and his family in a war against the Stepstones, to claim glory for themselves. Three years later, Corleys and Demon appear to be losing their war in a long and hard siege of Bloodstone, with several members of the army contemplating defecting. However, after Viserys offers to aid Demon in his efforts with the Velaryons in the Stepstones, a counterattack is devised by Corlys's forces, led by Corlys and Demon, and supported on Dragonback by Sea Smoke, ridden by Corlys's son, Sir Lenor. The Velaryon forces prevail after Demon slays Krahas Draha, preventing the ruin of House Velaryon. Corlys and his army crown Demon King of the Narrow Sea and return to Driftmark. Back at Driftmark, Corleys arranges a betrothal between Lena and the son of the Sea Lord of Bravos. The small council is worried about an alliance between the Velaryons and Bravos, but the issue is solved by another betrothal between Lenor Velaryon and Rhaenyra Targaryen. Some time later, Viserys and Rhaenyra sail to Driftmark to discuss the prospective marriage alliance between Rhaenyra and Lenor, where Corleys and Rhinus inquire about the matter of the succession to the Iron Throne. After Viserys affirms that Rhaenyra and Lenor's firstborn will inherit the Iron Throne from her, regardless of gender, Corleys asks whether their children shall take the Velaryon name, to which Viserys replies that they will, but upon the heir's ascension to the Iron Throne, the king or queen will take the name Targaryen, so the dynasty of dragons may continue. Corleys and Rhinus then accept the union. Corleys and his family head to King's Landing for Lenor and Rhaenyra's wedding where Viserys makes an impassioned speech about the union of the two remaining powerful Valyrian houses becoming one. Though the festivities start out well, the feast is interrupted by Sir Criston Cole's murder of one of House Valyrian's sworn swords, Sir Joffrey Lonmouth. Following the attack, Laenor and Rhaenyra are wed in a private, grim ceremony, of which their immediate family and their aides are in attendance. Corleys is severely injured during a battle at the Stepstones. There is a dispute over the question who should succeed him, his brother or Lucerys Velaryon.